Hey there, Aquarius. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Ooh, I almost shuffled that backwards with the cards facing up. Awkward. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message for Aquarius, the cross watcher, anybody that was drawn here. Take what fits, leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home, just try a different message. I'm going to start with the Everyday Witch Tarot and do a full Celtic cross spread. And then we're going to close with some Mystic Red Rose Oracle messages. See what's coming through for Aqua. Please and thank you. What? Current energy for Aquarius. Can I just get one card, please? Three cards try to come out and then three cards. Here's one. Eight of Wands. Ooh, I just fumbled your message. I started calling you Capricorn. And this was actually your current energy. So it looks like the message is still that you have a lot of good news coming in at once. Some of it's not good, okay? Um, it can't all be good news. But for the most part, it's definitely good news. And it seems like it's coming in fast because you receive good news and you're trying to let that sink in and then more good news comes in before it can sink in. So now you've got two things that you're trying to let sink in and then some not so good news comes in and you're like, ooh, but you're still trying to let this sink in, right? So it's a lot at once. So that looks like it's still the message here. I was also putting two and two together that it started getting cloudy. It's supposed to rain like all week off and on. So um, I just thought it was interesting that I pulled this card out and then the sun kind of went away and in came the clouds. So um, you might also be experiencing some rain in your area. Um, okay. Raining while you sleep. That barometric pressure actually helps you to get a really, really deep sleep. It happened for um, for us last night. It was raining all night. We woke up and everything's still soaking wet. Um, there's something about a cleansing happening while you're sleeping here. This could also be about um, healing, especially like with your thoughts and messages. Healing thoughts. Mantras, I'm getting mantras. There's also some good, whatever this good news is that's coming in, there's this sense of, oh, I can relax now. Oh, I love that, Aquarius, I love that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And I I, um, I fumbled the message. I'm so sorry for calling you Capricorn. Um, there was something about clearing your schedule Right. So it looks like there's something in your schedule that you're choosing to no longer be doing or there's some kind of communication that you're. Um, you're choosing not to do it. I, I don't know exactly. It feels more physical than mental, but there is a significant heaviness with both. All right. Foundation for Aquarius is the Ace of Wands. Yeah, see, you're going from a bunch of wands to focusing on one single wand here. Or it's one, one at a time. I said <laughs> wand at a time. One at a time. Sweet baby, it's going to start raining. I can't let you out. I'm so sorry. I know. I know. I'm so sorry. Hi. I'm sorry, Scribbles doodles and scribbles learned how to <laughs> ring the bell when they want out what is in the recent past here interesting how we did that at the ace of wands because that's a spark of interest that's like a new passion judgment Honey, I'm sorry. Hearing the call. Now he's in the background. Hi, little cow. What you doing? He's like, you know what I'm doing? I'm trying to get outside. Come up off the counter there. I don't like you up there. It's okay. You're not in trouble. I just don't want you on the counters. 
Cook my food up there, bro. All right, so what is crown? Thank you. Wow, asking you shall receive. Two of swords. There's something you don't know. So you haven't received all your messages yet. That's what I'm getting. You haven't received all your messages yet. I'm almost getting like this. Listen to that. Hearing the call. I'm almost getting like this. You're anxious. You want to get something started, but you can only do so much right now. It's almost like you're still waiting on news or you're still waiting on supplies or an approval or, you know. I know you're not. Um, he's not. <laughs> What's in the near future? I don't know why that made me jump a little bit. It's the Queen of Wands. Busy, busy, busy is the Queen of Wands. Very active. See, in the near future, you can move forward here, but there's, there's something that you just don't know enough. Maybe that's what it is. Sometimes you just got to go for it without knowing everything you need to know. You'd be surprised how it turns out in the end. I kind of feel like that's what this is. You're following your gut. You're following your intuition. If it's time to rest, you're resting. If it's time to get up and move, you're doing just that. Boy! No, running doesn't help you here. Thank you. He doesn't like being picked up, so just putting my hands next to his stomach. Oh, he's bored. I'm going to have to play with him here. Aquarius, your blockage is... Starting the new. The path less traveled. See, not everybody does it this way, but you're Aquarius. You're not everybody. You're different. I don't know what you're so scared of here. I don't think it is really a fear. I think it's just you want more information or at least you'd feel more comfortable if you had more information. I think you're being tested a little bit here. What is the... No. How is the universe viewing Aquarius? How is God viewing Aquarius? Eight of Swords. What the fuck? You need to get out of your head, homie. You need to get out of your head. Somebody's thinking too much, and you're literally talking yourself out of what you want. Or maybe somebody else is trying to talk you out of it. The goal is the Three of Cups. The goal is everybody celebrating this new beginning for you. You taking the first steps on this new journey here. That's the goal. But for some reason, it's also your blockage is taking those first steps. I don't even think it's a fear. I think it's a... Like, you can't move in the house until you get the keys, right? You can't drive off with the car until you've got insurance and a down payment. Like, there's there's something here that you're scared to make that down payment. You're scared to pay the um, security deposit in first month's rent or whatever, you know? Like, why are you so scared to make this move? Why are you so scared to make this change? Aquarius, I almost feel like... You are on the verge of sleeping on yourself. I don't think this has to do with anybody else. I think this is solely you. You want to do something, do it. You don't have the time, make it. Make the time for it. Like, I know that's not always possible, right? Sometimes you need money to, to make money, right? You got to pay for the uniform, the shoes, the stuff to even get the job, the gas to get there before you even see the first paycheck, right? I get that it's not always so simple, Jessica, but um, there is something here that, has that, that is that simple. 
but for some reason you're complicating it and, and you're getting yourself confused and lost in the sauce here. Stop trying to make so much sense of it and just go with it, right? You're fighting the current here and you're meant to go with the flow. Who's to say you don't travel downstream and have some fun down there and find a ride on land to get back upstream, right? It's going to be a lot easier that way. Instead of fighting the current and completely missing what's down there waiting for you. You don't even know it yet. Two of swords. You don't even know. Oh, that's crazy to say to an Aquarius. Because your, your um, mantra, your quote is literally, I know. But there's something that you really don't know. And it's almost like you're fighting it because there is something you know. But there's also something you don't know. <laughs> this is kind of funny. All right, anyways, what is the outcome for Aquarius? I'm hearing fresh perspective. King of Wands. Ooh, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Some of you, this isn't just you. Then again, it could be your evolution from the queen to the king. It's not about gender. It's just about their role, right? The queen's role. She's still got a little bit of work on. Uh, a little bit to work on, but the king, once you've met, made it to the king of any suit, that's mastership of said suit. Like, for all you know, it's nothing but ocean out here until you travel out there and realize, holy shit, there's an island right here. There is land. Like, there's something that you're not seeing right now. You are literally on a need-to-know basis, and if you don't have enough information, you don't feel comfortable moving forward, but the divine is telling you, move forward anyways. There's something amazing here. It might not seem like it right away, but I'm telling you, it's going to be a good story. Ten of Swords, don't sabotage yourself. Don't sabotage yourself. Do not, do not, do not. For some of you, this is actually about love and romance. You don't know if you can trust your partner. They did something, and I feel like if you move away, you're going to be safe from certain other things that could have been on the table. But if you stick around, eventually, you will be catching one of those. If that makes sense, that makes sense. If it doesn't, it's not for you. Leave it leave that part of the reading out okay so let's get a closing message here for Aquarius please and thank you spirit here it is karmic relationship resentments and triggers perception intensity and letting go turmoil and fleeting so that confirms what I just said about the love and romance situation there is another person get out before you catch something Sorry, you don't deserve that. You don't deserve that. Um, what other closing messages do we have for Aquarius in regards to the rest of what we were talking about here? Oh, the karmic relationship to self. Yeah, because you're ascending from the sabotage and you're going for it. Look at that, going for it. We're putting an end to the sabotage and we are going for it like it literally this message just repeated itself from you doing it to the divine stepping in and and helping you that's beautiful ascending learning and expansion transcending preparing for union new phase new phase at the bottom of the deck, what do we have? Not today. <laughs> Boundaries and hurt, avoiding conversation, not dealing, and still upset. 
if you need to take your time to gather your thoughts, please do that. Because some of you guys, that's where you are. There's a lot going on. You need to allow that. You need to honor the fact that you need time to process, right? Needing more time is a decision. I'm going to end here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love yous, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.